In this video, we'll be going over the Fin Frameworks Alarm application. The Alarm application can be accessed by first opening the App Menu Launcher and selecting the Alarms app. This will immediately bring up the Alarm Mini app that can be viewed within the menu to the far right of the screen. Similar to a majority of the features within the Fin Framework, the Alarms app is also context sensitive. This means that the alarms that will appear in the menu are based on where you are at in your navigational context. The quickest way to view specific results based on the context would be to navigate down to the particular site, floor, or equipment that may be having an issue. You may notice a red badge next to some of your records within the navigation tree. The red badge indicates how many alarms are currently active under that particular record. Clicking on this badge is another way to quickly open the Alarms app in the event that it is not already open. As we navigate down the navigation tree, you'll notice the Alarms app is constantly updating to only show the alarms related to that particular context. So let's say we want to take a closer look at some of these alarms. Start by moving your navigational context to the site, floor, or equipment that you'd like to review. Then you can click on the arrows icon next to the alarm app header to enlarge the alarm application view. To maximize your viewing capabilities, close your mini app menu by clicking on the icon that has four tiny squares on the top right of the navigational header. Alarms can be viewed as tiles or in a list format by clicking the options available on the top left of the alarms app. If you look at the top right of the alarms app, you will see two icons. The flashlight icon gives you the option to filter your alarms by tag, time period, or priority level, and also allows you to hide and show alarms based on whether they are acknowledged, unacknowledged, currently in alarm, or currently not in alarm. The gear icon gives you the option to disable the alarm sound from playing when the alarm app is open, and also allows you to select how many alarms you want to view on a single page, and how often those alarms will refresh themselves while the Alarms app is open. It also gives you the ability to download the current alarm information as a CSV file. Each alarm badge represents an individual alarm that was thrown and contains information related to that particular alarm. The color of the bell icon on the top left corner of each badge represents whether the alarm is currently still in alarm or if it's currently not in alarm. If the bell is colored red, the alarm is currently active, and if the bell is colored gray, the alarm is no longer active. The first piece of text you'll see in the alarm badge is the alarm text. This text depends on what the engineer set when creating the alarm logic. Below that, in big bold letters, we see the alarm target. In most cases, the alarm target is a piece of equipment. Below that, the alarm badge offers a date and time for when that alarm record was last in alarm. Below that, we see a priority level for that particular alarm, and at the very bottom is a quick summary of instructions set within the alarm logic. If you'd like more information on a particular alarm, you can click on the information icon located at the top left corner of each alarm badge. If you'd like to view more information on the alarm target that threw the alarm, you can click on the arrow icon located on the top right corner of each alarm badge. This will bring up the alarm target's magic bubbles. In my case, the alarm target is a VAV equipment. So if I wanted to take a closer look, I could simply open the VAV graphic using Magic Bubbles and then use the mini app to view my alarms application on the right. Anytime a new alarm is thrown or if an existing alarm goes out of alarm, a small notification will appear on the screen. Alarms that are no longer active will not appear as a badge in the navigation tree but will still have an alarm badge within the Alarms app for the remainder of the given day. The Alarms app can also be viewed in any mobile device by navigating down to the desired context, clicking on the menu button on the bottom right corner of the screen, and selecting the Alarms application. So those are all the basics on the Alarms application. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel for more related content. Thank you, and don't forget to have yourself a fantastic day.